Hi, in the following video you will find a simulation for 1,000 students inside a university campus during the Espresso Fairs. This simulation was done with the interactions of a PC with an Intel Core 2 Dual P8600 processor and an NVIDIA GeForce 9400M video card. The students will be represented in green dots that will change to red as soon as they get infected, and the gray line path left behind will represent the walk path being followed up to that moment. The spread of the virus event will take place after the iteration 400. Let's now run our simulation. The interactions among students are based on a set of rules taking into account the scheduled path, orientation toward the final destination, and an agent-based model. The paths were randomly selected in the beginning, similar to what the student daily schedule looks like. The way that students walk is based on a random decision toward the nearest three options that point towards the destination. This gives more human-like behavior. As it can be observed, tunnels and its vivification become one of the spots where the number of infected students increases. Also, it can be observed how small clumps of disease students start to walk and infect other students as they reach their own targets. The infection spread reaches 100% of the population by nearly the iteration 32,000, which in time terms is around 5 minutes. Meanwhile, 97% is reached during the first few minutes. Thanks. This, my name is Jose Juan Mijares Chan from University of Manitoba.